Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project, eArt Gallery. And uh, the main objective for developing this project is to create an Android app from where customer can log in, register, and buy some art products online, right? So normally you, in the current scenario, you can see most of the application are going to be deployed on the Android platform because most of the user has the Android phone. So we have developed this project for selling the art uh, products, means paintings, art gallery products through Android application, right? So this is the project which we have developed and uh, the technology stack we have used for developing this project is Android and we have used Android Studio for developing this project and uh, in android studio this is the native java native android app and we have used the java for all of the coding and designings and this is a web api driven project web api driven means all of the data is coming from the web api and for database we have used the mysql the version for the mysql i am using the uh, version 5.6 and all of the api logic has been developed in php and the version for the php we are using version 7 right so there are two platforms we have developed here the first one is the customer app which the customer can install on the android on, on his android mobile and second one is the admin app which uh, will be accessed by the admin and admin will be able to perform certain operations like uh, adding the category adding the products like that admin can perform this type of operations uh, through admin app right so you can also configure this project on the local system you can open this project on android studio and you can deploy that admin app using the jam because jam supports php and mysql application so admin app has been developed in php and mysql and all of the api uh, also uh, we have developed using the php right so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project right so let's start uh, uh, to see the functionalities what we have developed right so this is the login page okay so i am going to rerun the project so for uh, importing the project for running the project you can uh, you can uh, import the project in android studio and after gradle sync, gradle sync you can just click on this run button once you click on the run button then that uh, application will be sorry so you can see this is the splash form which we have developed right this is the text if you want to change the text then you can change it from the constant variables right so this is the home page right and if you want to <coughs> see the login then this is the login right and this is the home page so i'm going to explain you each and every navigation menu which we have developed inside this project right so this is the navigation menu so here you can see this is the home right home is the same page which is uh, running on the background of this navigation shop by category so this is also the same page this is a registration so this is a registration form where a customer can register and uh, after that he can purchase some of the arts right so there is a restriction inside the project without registration you can't be able to buy any of the arts right so this is a registration form from here you can enter your full name email password address phone number right and from this one you can also uh, select your image you can use gallery or either you can use the camera right if you click on the camera then the camera will front camera will open and after that you can click your picture and you can upload it at, and if you want to choose the image from the gallery then you can choose from the gallery here right okay so this is the registration form and then this is a login form from if you have the user id and password then you can log in it from here all of the login all of the registration all of the data save update delete and list uh, we are performing through the API. We are not using the local database in the Android. We are using the MySQL database, right? And all of the CRUD application, create, read, update, and delete operation, we are performing through PHP API. Okay. So this is the login. This is the about. It's about the project, right? Oh, I think there is some issue. Okay. So this is the about. Oh, let me check what's the issue okay 
<clears throat> okay so i will fix that issue okay so in the about uh, you can you see about the project right <clears throat> okay now i am going to login so the user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and the password is 123456 once you log inside the system then you will get the different navigation menu you can see there are different navigation menu home shop by category this is a my cart once you click on the my cart then you can see there is nothing in your cart right and then my account from where you will be able to see your accounts this is the my cart and my orders once you click on the my orders all of the orders which you have placed will be displayed here and once you click on the order details then you will be able to see all of the orders which you have placed you can see this one right this is the in progress status right so this is the my account this is my orders this is the again about and uh, again this is creating some of the issue okay i will look into that and this is a logout once you click on the logout then this all of the navigation menu will not be displayed right now i am going to buy some of the products right so this is the category once you click on the category all the products which belongs to that category will be displayed here once you click on that image then you will be able to get the display uh, details of that uh, category right you can select uh, the quantity and the price will be calculated automatically and once you click on the set add to cart right so this is the add to cart and after that suppose if i am going to some other this one okay this one then add to cart right so once you click on add to cart you can see your cart items on clicking on this cart button right you can see there are two items you can delete the cart item here from here even you can see your cart items from here my carts right so there are two, two things continue shopping or confirm order once you click on the continue shopping then you will be redirected to the category page right if you click on the confirm order then it will ask your means uh, uh, so the all of the details will be fetched from the database directly which you have filled in, in, at the time of registration and this is a cash on delivery or mastercard if you click on the cash on delivery then it will not ask any of the things but if you click on the mastercard it will ask your card details so this is the you can put dummy card details here right and just put your credit card details and the cv number right so once you fill all of the things just click on the done and it will uh, it will show you that order place successfully right so once you click on the okay you will be able to see your order items and this is in progress right you can see there are two items inside the order and it in progress right so this is the uh, flow of the android application and this is a customer driven android app there is no login for the admin on this uh, app right so for admin we have developed the web application so this is the web application right and uh, the user id is admin and password is test so once you log inside the system you will get the total sales this is a total sales total orders right and you can see recent orders top categories and this one this is the banner from where you will be able to update your banner details so you can see this is the banner coming on the home page right so you can add update the banners from here right this is orders all of the orders which you have placed will be displayed here you can update the order details here you can see okay so this is on the way so let me show you okay so this is the my orders and if you click on this one then you, the image has been changed and it's saying that on the way right and if you click on the delivered right then if you want to see it means if customer open then he can see it's a delivered right okay so this is the order state yes and you can see the communication uh, is done by api because you are updating the things on the web app and those things are reflect uh, reflecting on the android application right this is the products all of the products which you have added will be displayed here this is the category if you want to add more category just you need to enter the category name and description and the image once you save it then it will be displayed here and it will also be displayed on the uh android home page right this is the product name you can add the product name here and there are four image option which you can upload on the product right so we have uploaded only uh image you can 
let me show you right so where those four images will be displayed so uh, this one so you can see this is the because we have uploaded the same image that's why uh, it's showing the same image but if you change the if you upload the different images then these three uh, images will be different right and once you click on that image then that image will be will load here right so this all functionality i have developed for the admin app right so if you want to log out just click on the logout and your session will be destroyed right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project and as i told you earlier this is a android web api based project and it's a major project which has admin login as well as a customer login customer we have developed on the android application admin we had developed in with php and mysql right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment we will incorporate those changes we will make we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much